the lawyer who represented the class action. Good to have you with us, Michelle, as always. How big of a win is this? Oh, I think it was a big win. I mean, there was no, uh, no certainty at the beginning, sort of, whether or not we would not win that. We took huge risk. Uh, the leading counsel in it was Mr. Malcolm Ruby from Gowling and uh, my firm. So the two of us worked for almost six years. The class action was certified uh, four years ago, and uh, it was anything but certain at the beginning when we took this on. But eventually, we, uh, we got ourselves into a settlement negotiation with the Department of Justice on behalf of the government of Canada. And then, basically, we work out a settlement, which I think is highly satisfactory, and certainly will provide veterans, uh, veterans from the Second World War, the Korean War, and the more modern veterans who had some deductions made to their hurting loss benefits. So, and those benefits are paid to those who have, uh, you know, uh, have a, an income level which is below the threshold that we allow for veterans. So, and they will receive the bulk in terms of individual payment. They will receive the bulk of the moder monetary award, and, and these payments will be made within the next six months or so. So, it's um, it's long overdue. Uh, we have been. Uh, deluged with uh, phone calls and emails and so on from veterans across the land uh, who were anxious to uh, to get the court decision, anxious of that to know whether or not uh, the payment will be approved, and uh, it is. So now it's a matter of being a little bit more patient before they can receive the check in the mail, which I must add, um, because of the good work done by my friend uh, Malcolm Ruby at Gulling, uh, all of that will be tax-free. So it's a it's a double, in fact, uh, what they would have expected to begin with. And Michelle, where is the money going to go in terms of uh, helping these people? Well, it's going to go to the Second World War and the Korean War veterans. There's about 12,000 of them, and about 2,500 of the modern day veterans. So they're spread across the countries. And as I said, the payments will be uh, most of the war veterans will get something in the vicinity of 2,000 or so because they suffered less deduction than their younger colleagues and, uh, and, and younger colleagues who have also been operating under a significant amount of disability, each one of them, to varying degree. But those who are of the highest uh, degree of, of severity in terms of disability, they will get something close to $50,000 um, in, uh, in repayment of some reduction made against their earlier, uh, earlier pension payments. Michelle, always good to have you with us on the program, and I appreciate you taking the time uh, to get into our studios, and congratulations on this win. Important story. Okay. Thank you very much.